Hey guys, Statue here. I've got a new script to uh, to show you guys that we're going to be using a little more often in uh, missions and uh, in the persistent campaign server. So this script is anti-sub warfare, with the help of some of our members who have done stuff like this in real life. Uh, I've put together a script that manages the behavior of anti-sub warfare equipment on your helicopter. So the equipment that it simulates is sauna boys, which you can drop to uh, listen as a passive sensor for submarines. It has a sonar probe, which sends an active sonar pulse to identify the exact location of an enemy submarine. And it simulates the homing method of a torpedo. As you can see on this helicopter, we have Mark 46 torpedoes on board. However, uh, by default in DCS, these torpedoes are just dump fire and uh, fly in a straight line above the water. So we've got some scripts to make them home in on the enemy sub. I'm here in the MI-8. Uh, this script is also working for the MI-24 and the UH-60. So I'm just going to take off here and head out to the ocean and we're going to start uh, deploying these boys first. We're going to do it over here. And then we'll depart. Okay, so I'd say I'm uh, decently far offshore here. So I'm going to get my son of boy ready for deployment. So I'm going to go to my radio menu. F10. ASW controller. I'm just going to hit the drop sound of boy option here. Uh, before I do that, I just want to show you guys this. Just a little bit of eye candy here for you. Let's see. Flare. <laughs> drop out from behind the helicopter. So if we look at our map, our son of boy has picked up something. Uh, we don't really know where it is though. It's somewhere inside of this uh, this cone. So we're gonna do a little bit more flying here and see if we can triangulate the position of uh, of that submarine. All right, I've flown about uh, 10 kilometers extra here, so we'll drop another boy. As you can see at the top, it says 2 out of 25 remaining. Uh, all helicopters are equipped with a maximum of 25 son of boys. Uh, once you run out of uh, boys, you'll have to grab another helicopter, uh, basically respawn in it to get another one. Now these son of boys, they have a range, maximum range of about uh, 35 kilometers. And uh, you can kind of see that here with the, the cone. It just comes up to about 35, 36 kilometers or so. So you'll see that the cones, uh, they've kind of updated here and their accuracy seems to have changed. This is just a little bit of a dynamic accu accuracy change of the Son of Boys. Um, so it totally depends on the speed of the submarine, um, as well as how far away it is uh, with the accuracy. But we've got two boys here, so you can see the cone. Uh, they're kind of in intersecting in this area. Uh, so I know that my submarine is going to be inside this this range. So we're going to just continue on and uh, probably drop one more just to really figure out where this submarine is. Oh, another 10 kilometers later, and we'll deploy our third boy. Alright, so now we've got a pretty good idea of where it is. Just kind of in this, uh, this square here. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. 
probably just around this area here. Now, just to note, the Sonoboys and the case that holds them, uh, their weight is actually simulated in the helicopter, so as you drop the boys, they're only about 10 kilograms each, but you might notice your helicopter performing slightly differently after you've deployed a few of them. That's just because the, uh, the weight simulation is real and uh, your helicopter's losing that extra weight. Alright, so I've got a pretty good idea that we're getting pretty close here. Now, we're going to start using the sonar probe. So this sonar probe, it has a maximum range of 15 kilometers, much shorter than the Son of Boys. Um, however, it is an active sensor, so when I use it, it will actively ping the submarine and give me a very accurate uh, uh, idea of where it is. So in order to get that set up, I'm going to go to my menu, and I'm going to prepare the sonar probe for deployment. So you can see at the top it says, Sonar probe is arm, descend to 40 feet or 12 meters, MSL, over water, and stabilize in a hover. So I'm going to do just that. So it has a little bit of a grace room. Uh, below 10 kilometers per hour, and between about uh, 30 to 50 feet, and it should work. So now you can see it's telling me to hold steady, I'm just deploying the sonar probe. And you can hear it lowering into the water now. This is going to take about 20 seconds for it to deploy. Uh, at this time, I don't want to be moving. If I start moving around, it could damage the probe. And uh, if the probe is damaged too much, it will no longer be usable. And unfortunately, due to limitations of the scripting engine DCS, you are not going to see anything underneath your helicopter. You can see now that it's searching for contacts. And we've got a target detected, heading 083 for 5 kilometers. Target is heading in a heading of 293. That's the, the sub, that's the direction it's moving in. It's got a depth of 50 feet, and it is moving at about 5 knots. So because it's been so slow, that's kind of why our accuracy has been so poor here. And you can see on the map, my submarine is right here. It's got a marker. And uh, I can look at it, it shows me the time that it was marked, uh, the heading, the depth, the speed. So this is a good way to keep track of uh, a submarine and where it's moving. You'll see the, uh, the it's still searching for contacts here. This is simply um, a repeat. So let's say you have another helicopter you're working with and you're trying to keep track of a submarine uh, while the other helicopter is moving in to deploy a torpedo. You can stay here in a hover and just focus on hovering the aircraft and every two minutes or so the, uh, the sonar probe is going to update its interval. So if I speed up time here you'll see that it's going to do another ping here. And we've got an updated position and now I can really keep track of where my target is heading. To stop the, uh, the deployment of the sonar probe, I'm just going to very carefully climb above uh, 50 feet and you'll hear now the probe is uh, being recovered back into the helicopter. Alright, and if I wanted to, I can just uh, repeat that method to, uh, to deploy that probe again. But I'm not going to do that. Let's, uh, let's nab the submarine here. Uh, so, I've got the torpedoes on board my helicopter, and all I have to do is drop a torpedo, and it will home in on my target. The torpedo has a azimuth of about 30 degrees left and right, so that's kind of like a cone of where the torpedo is able to lock on to my target. So make sure that when you are deploying your torpedo that you are facing the general direction that your target is in. And we're going to do that now. So I've got my bombs already armed and ready. So we'll deploy one right now. You'll see that it says torpedo away. I've got one in the water right now. You can see it uh, scooting off there. And it will also, if it does have a target, it will tell you 
that it is tracking it. So torpedo is tracking target, heading 79 for 4.7 kilometers. Time of impact is about 204 seconds. Now, keep in mind that the torpedo's homing system is being simulated, so it's not actually going to fly toward the uh, the enemy submarine here. It's uh, it's just going to go in a straight line, like you can see it doing right now. And there we go. You see that just splashes off the side of the over here. The uh, torpedo has hit the target, so we will let you know when the torpedo hits, just to uh, verify that it has in fact struck your target. Uh, we can verify that we've killed the submarine. We'll just uh, we can get our sonar probe set up again. Alright, and no targets within range, which means that submarine was destroyed. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what happens when you start moving around with the probe on. So, you can start seeing uh, warning probe damage from movement, integrity is uh, slowly decreasing here. But as long as I get back into my hovering position, it will uh, it will still do fine. And the same happens if I go too deep. If I go too deep underwater, it'll s it'll start uh, having problems again. <coughs> so I can climb back out of the water here, start recovering, and uh, you can actually move around while the probe is recovering. So don't worry about sitting there in that hover uh, if you don't want to. You know, recover the probe back into the body of the helicopter and uh, everything will be A-OK. -okay. That's all there is to it. You see there's no targets left on that. That's on a boy. And uh, of course that torpedo is still flying along the ground here. But uh, we're just going to ignore that. It exists now. And uh... Yeah, hopefully you guys uh, find some use to the script, and uh, you can enjoy it, do a little submarine hunting, and uh, really bring this new element of uh, combat into into DCS at Black Shark Den here. Look forward to seeing you guys use this, and uh, happy flying.